So we're joined today by Paul Walsh, who's Vice President Engineering and Site Lead here at McAfee in Ireland. Paul, you're very welcome and thanks a million for inviting us in. And also, congratulations for being nominated as a most trusted leader in Ireland. Paul, could I just ask you a little bit about McAfee as an organisation? Uh, thanks very much, John. Um, so McAfee started in Ireland uh, ten, you know, 10 years. So towards the end of this year, we'll, we'll, we'll have completed 10 full years. Um, kind of humble enough beginnings, we had a team of maybe 30 people at the start. And uh, you know, we, we, over time, focused on trying to grow the site. And, and today, we have 350 people, 14 different functions. Um, we're the European headquarters for McAfee. Um, we've got an R&D organization here. We've got a finance organization, a sales organization, operations team. Um, and many others. Uh, so the, 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 you know, the, the team and the site has, has flourished in the last kind of five or six years. And so McAfee, as part of a global organization, how important is it to be a great place to work? I, I think it's, it, it's important. You know, when a company is doing well, um, you know, and sales are good and the business is growing, there are opportunities for, for the employees. Um, but there's also a good feeling that, that you're, you're, you're helping you know, the company be successful. Um, so that, that certainly is a factor. Um, but you know, along the way, there, there are always kind of bumps in the road and, and things don't always go the way you think they are. they're going to go. The plans don't always work out exactly as they're, they're arranged at the outset. Um, but being part of a successful organization, I think, does you know, um, in some way positively impact or in fact the, the, the rest of the, the team. Okay, so personally, your own um, journey to get to this point, take us through that. Well, I started um, my career with a company called Lotus Development, Lotus 123 people might be familiar with. Um, they were bought by IBM um, and from there I, I, I went to Microsoft. And you know, I was fortunate to join Microsoft at the time you know, of tremendous growth. And, uh, and I spent you know, many years, and very enjoyable years, working, working in Microsoft. And then I got the opportunity to come to Cork. For me, it was a chance to come home um, and help set up the McAfee operation, build out the kind of R&D and engineering organization at the outset. And uh, you know, that was very attractive to me. You know, I was keen to get back to, to family, um, uh, to my hometown. Um, but the business opportunity itself was, was very, very exciting and interesting. So when you engaged then with McAfee, you engaged with uh, a, the McAfee culture, because uh, we always talk about sort of culture. Um, so to you, what is the McAfee culture? Well, I think culture um, you know, has a strong relationship with values. Um, and it's understanding the, the value set that the company has and then trying to, you know, um, in ways, identify your own values and, and, and make an association between the two. Um, so I think for McAfee, it has a lot of core values, you know, integrity and courage being just two. Um, and, and most people, you know, will have values like that as, as their own core values. So when you can, you know, come to work and live out your own value set in a work environment that you enjoy, that's fun, that, that's growing quickly, um, then you know, it creates a very um, interesting culture, but not one that's unusual or alien to you. You're able to adapt and fit into it very, very, very nicely. And the personal philosophy that you have, how does that fit into the, the culture and the values? Um, it, it fits in quite well. I mean, this is a company that, that you know, um, has a very strong interest in developing people. You know, it has a, it has a, a mission that, that people resonate with, right? We believe that everybody has the right to be safe online. And, you know, we do everything we can to create that opportunity for people. Um, whether it's, you know, your kids or your, your, your parents, you know, whether it's large organizations. The idea here is that, you know, you should be able to use our technology to keep yourself safe online. So that resonates with people. It's a noble cause that, 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 that people you know, really identify with. You now are a, a, a officially a great place to work. So congratulations. And this is two years now in a, in a row. And I'm just wondering, um, for you, 
this whole concept of trust, is it something that naturally you, you knew about and you were clear about from your early days, or is it something that you've developed an understanding of the importance of building high trust in the workplace? Um, I, I think you kind of know that it's very important, right? You know, as your career develops, there, there are people along the way that, that you know you trust and you, you open up to and, and, and help you. Um, and you understand that if you've got a level of trust with somebody else, that they're going to be more inclined to, 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 you know, to go that extra mile for you, to help you solve a problem, to work closely with you. Um, but maybe what we didn't realize was that there's a way to, 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 to focus on developing the trust. You know, that there, there are things you can do um, to you know, foster a, an environment where trust is really a key, a key value. Uh, and I think we've spent more time on that in the last number of years. Um, and since we've done that, and since the trust scores have, have, have improved, you know, I think we've seen you know, a, an immediate um, return internally where you know, teams are getting stronger, performance is improving, there's a better relationship, uh, much more cross-functional support. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of really positive things come out of um, the stronger trust scores. That Could we're I ask you, to, just to maybe be a little more specific about what those kind of things are that you've you know that people are now doing which maybe they weren't doing maybe to the level of and same degree that they were doing them previously to build high levels of trust it, 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 it's often down to just communication you know simple you know like it, it takes in, 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 in if you look at great place to work um, you know we really bought into that idea from you know at the at the outset and it got very strong support from the senior management team within, within the Cork site. And you know, we, we, we actively promoted um, the Great Place to Work program. Um, we reached out to, to the team and, and, and really you know, made them believe that we really wanted to, to, to take this seriously, that we would, we would um, react to the information, that we would do something positive about the data that came back to us. Um, and then, Another thing that happened that I thought was really, really cool was we, we created task groups you know, within the organization. You know, we, we, we performed the cultural audit. Um, we engaged people across different functions. Um, and it brought the people together, it brought the functions together. But they're the guys who made the change. They're the guys who drove this through. Right? So they were essentially empowered by the management team. But the hard work was done to those guys. We owe them a huge amount because they really kind of, you know, brought this to the, to the greater, um, greater numbers within the organization. And, and the success is really an employee success. You know, it, it's because we have great leaders right across the organization who trust each other. Uh, and, and they, you know, were the, f in my opinion, the, the key um, driver um, in, in ensuring that we were successful. So you talk about leaders across the organization, and I, I'm just interested in a lot of people's minds those, the term leader and manager are kind of interchangeable. Um, but to you, you don't agree at all with that? No, I, I think there's a difference. You know, you know maybe some people are, are, are natural leaders and you know, they, they, they don't have to think about it. You know, the, the Paula Connells and the Brian Driscoll's of this world. Um, the rest of us mere mortals have to, to think about leading um, because it's something that you've got to give some thought to. You know, a, a lot of leaders are leaders because they were good managers. Um, and, and they were successful over you know, years in the organization and, and they, they ended up you know, in leadership um, positions. But there's a big difference between being a good manager and a good leader. Um, and I think it's important that you know, leaders recognize that certainly I have to work hard at that to, to understand the difference because you, you can kind of default back to being a manager, maybe something that you, you're good at and something that you, you feel more comfortable with. But being a leader is a little different because you've got to you've got to set the expectation, you've got to deliver the vision, you've got to communicate really, really well. You've got to make sure that you're trying to get the team working with you, that the ideas that you have, you need to sell them uh, and ensure that you know that they connect with the rest of the organization. Um, and you don't want to interfere with what the rest of the team are doing. You want to empower them. You don't want to you know go back and do your old job when somebody else is doing it now. You know, we spend a lot of time recruiting and hiring really, really smart people. You want to give those people the opportunity to be successful. Um, and, 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 and leading is about sometimes standing back 
and, 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 and listening a lot um, to what people have to say. Um, and taking that information on board and, 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 and using it in a positive way. Looking, look for, for, for things that I can do something. For me, it's looking for opportunities that I may have in the organization to do something positive. Not to interfere, but to maybe you know, connect people up, you know, uh, use my you know, position to um, promote activities within the organization, to give people the opportunity to, to express their ideas. Um, and not necessarily to go in and do their job for them. But it's interesting because you were, um, uh, how do I put this, a nearly a leaderless organization in, in Ireland. Maybe you might say everybody was a leader, but um, you made a strategic decision to actually appoint a site lead um, for Ireland when you didn't have one before. Can you talk to us a little bit about what happened there? We're probably quite like a lot of other multinational organizations where the functions with, uh, on site will report directly up through their functions in, 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 in headquarters. Um, and the opportunity um, you know, for people to, to engage at a function level is, is very strong. So you have to make a really kind of concerted effort to bring um, this, the various functions together as, as a site. And, and you know, we, we probably thought that you know, there was something we should have looked at before, but you know, the, the results from the survey really kind of put this you know, front and center that, you know, they felt that there needed to be a, a site leader, you know, a single voice, you know, a vision for, for the organization here in Cork that aligns very much with the, the corporate vision. Um, and, and we sat and listened and, 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 you know, I was appointed site leader um, and it helped, I think, bring the site together, bring the functions together. There are 14 functions here in, on site and it's, it's challenging um, when they don't all interact with each other on a daily basis. Um, some of them would have very little interaction with each other. Or, or they might not have a very strong appreciation for what the others do or an awareness of what they do. Um, one of the things we did is we, we, we have what we call a, a core connected day. Um, we take a day, you know, once a year, and each of the functions gets an opportunity to showcase, you know, what it is that they do. You know, some of the great initiatives, innovation, um, and, and talk about their job. Uh, and, and the, the, the various teams from around the site will go visit um, the, other, the other functions and learn. And it, and it connects people together. Um, it gives people a greater appreciation you know, of the other functions. It, it puts you know, names to faces, or faces to names. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it, it creates a, um, you know, a, a spirit, you know, creates an atmosphere which is very positive. Um, and it also, I think very importantly, demonstrates clearly that we all need each site to be, each, each function to be successful in order for us all to be successful. You know, we're all very much linked together even though we, not, we might not realize it. Uh, you know, engineering you know, needs sales, sales needs engineering, we all need finance. Um, and, and that was a very positive experience. So these were kind of activities designed to create more unity uh, across the site. You also mentioned to me earlier that uh, in terms of recruitment and hiring, that you go for real talent, but you do find that oftentimes people's own thinking gets in the way of them actually achieving their potential. Talk to me a little bit about that. I don't know how, how to um, really identify why it is that people sometimes you know, might not think they're as good as they are, right? That they have a better ability or greater talent, and, and sometimes they hold themselves back. Um, you find, you know, uh, guys coming out of, you know, university, recent graduates, um, you know, have a certain way of thinking about a problem, um, wh which is fine, but, um, you know, won't always create a solution that can be applied at a more global level. Um, and, you know, so you're, you're, you're trying to develop their thinking, you know, trying to create opportunity for them and trying to put them in the positions where they're successful um, and give them support around that. And, and, and you see you know, how people react. You know, everyone likes to, to do well. Um, people need to be challenged you know, as we also to, so that they can you know, uh, sometimes step out of their comfort zone and take on a task that might, uh, might look very troubling or, 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 or difficult to do. Um, but with the right support uh, and the right assistance, uh, they can be very successful. And then that you know, automatically resets their, 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 their expectation levels. You know that the bar gets reset, and, and, and they, you know, they now look. I, I say, well, I, they now think that they can achieve a lot more, and and it, it, it's and that's kind of I suppose the responsibility that the, the team leaders, the managers across the organisation, 
to identify the talent and give people the opportunity to be successful. So uh, there's opportunities to go and try and get projects for Ireland, for Cork. Um, how important is it to be able to say that this is a great place to work? Oh, it's, it's, it's very important. Um, you know, we didn't, we didn't, the plan wasn't day one for us to be this size with all these functions. You know, we, we worked hard at, at, at creating opportunities for the site, um, for encouraging McAfee to invest more in, in Ireland, to put more you know, business here, to take advantage of the talent that's available locally. And you know, today within the company, there is actually quite a, an awareness of a great place to work. We have other sites in different parts of the world who participate. Um, and you know, I was surprised at the very positive reaction we got you know, from, from last year's you know, uh, result. Um, making the list last year it was a bit of a surprise to us, I think. Um, you know, we, 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 we were very, very pleased. And you know, the CEO and you know, the, the head of HR and, and many other function leaders at executive level um, you know, understand Great Place to Work, are advocates of the program. And you know, we achieved success that, not, that I don't think any other side of McAfee has achieved to date. So it, it has a lot of um, currency internally. Uh, and and it, we got a lot of benefit from that. Great. And finally, just for, you know, there's some people watching this who um, maybe their workplace isn't great. If you were to kind of give them a little bit of um, a, a coaching lesson here as to how to become great or, or things that they should do or general advice to uh, become better, what would it be? Uh, I would say don't be afraid to get involved. You know, it's probably your, your organization is probably not as bad as you think. <laughs> You know, you know, we, we, we have our own internal surveys and, and you know, we, we, we look at the results of those. Um, and then we did the Great Place to Work program and we looked at the results of those. And it gave us, little, it gave us additional information. You know, it, it gave us more things to work on. Um, and we were, we were in a much better place than we thought we were. And um, it didn't take a lot to push us forward, um, which was surprising. I mean, we made a, quite a significant jump uh, again this year and, and you know it's often hard the second year to keep the interest and keep it focused um, but we were able to do that and, and, and it's it, it's not being afraid to, to take the challenge on uh, use the internal resources you know bring teams together um, it, it does tremendous um, uh, positive, tremendously positive things for, for the internal teams when, when they start communicating and work on on, 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 a, on a, a cause that's you know really in the best interest of the entire the, the entire site. Um, there are, are plenty of um, good things that are happening um, that just need a little bit more um, finesse, I think, um, to, to drive your scores in a positive direction. Um, you know, th there are sometimes the initiatives might have started but maybe not finished successfully. Um, they can be revisited and, 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 and improved. And the more eyes you have on this internally, the, the greater the opportunity or the chances you have of being successful. Um, so, you know, I would say, I mean, go for it. It really has helped us. And the other thing that's given us too is, a, is, a, is an international kind of benchmark as well, right? You know, we kind of had a fair idea how we did, you know, across McAfee when compared to other sites. Um, but now we know how we stand up against, you know, other major international companies, major, major multinationals. Um, and you know that you know is is great because I suppose in, we're all a little competitive, um, and you know when when companies when, when employees can can see their company you know on a list that contains you know very very large successful organisations it makes them feel good, um, and um, you know that's very very valuable and it's it's hard to to put an actual you know. Uh, value on it, but uh, it certainly has done a lot for our internal morale, and, and people, you know, def definitely are, are, are much prouder about you know working in McAfee now when they can see how well we compare against other big multinationals. Well, Paul, congratulations for the success so far you've had with uh, McAfee, and continued success into the future. Thanks a million. Thank you very much, Sean. It's been a pleasure. Cheers.